All right, the next throwing drill we have is called the line drill. And the guys on the outside of this drill, okay, are gonna use the same footwork you saw in the rapid fire drill. You know, glove foot to the ball, quick transfer, gain ground, throw. The guy in the middle does something different. What he's gonna do is he's gonna do what we call cut, cut footwork. So what's cut footwork? All right, I'm a left-handed first baseman, and right field is out here, and home plate's in here, and I'm the cut man. When the ball comes to me, I'm going to step to the ball with my meat hand foot, cut it, I'm already blocked, and I'm going to throw. Compare that to the old way I used to do it, which is turn sideways, the ball comes in, I catch it, I take it. two steps to throw the ball about 60 feet. It just doesn't make sense. So what I teach kids to do on the cut drill is to go ahead and take their meat hand foot, step to the ball, block their foot, take the ball out and throw. Seems like it's a lot quicker. Now this can be done with three guys or four guys. If you put four guys in this drill, you have two middle guys. And they both work on cut footwork. The guys on the end are working on rapid fire footwork. Let's take a look. Okay guys. After about 30 seconds or so, you want to switch it up so you have a new guy in the middle. You want each player in the line to go ahead and get a chance to be in the middle. Okay, good enough, guys. Now, we'd switch it again, but since this is just going ahead and talking about drills, I'm going to stop. One thing I want to say is that for a team setting, imagine having, say, I got 21 guys on my team, say, I got seven lines like this, seven lines of three. And we have the ball start at the same spot, and we have a contest. And we actually go back and down three times. And the team that's the slowest is out. And we do it six times. We put a little competition in, and we see if we can get a champion on it. So it's a really good drill if you put a little competition into it.